In this video, let us discuss some previous university questions on linear search and bubble sort module 1 of C programming. Explain linear search with an example. Draw a flowchart and write pseudocode to perform linear search on an array of numbers. Linear search is a simple searching algorithm used to find the position of a specific element in a list or array. It works by sequentially checking each element in the list until a match is found or the list or the entire list has been traversed. Suppose we have an array of integers 4, 8, 2, 15, 9, 5, 10, 12. We want to search for element 9. We start from the beginning of the array that is at index 0. At index 0 the value is 4. For step 1 compare 4 with 9. It is not a match. Go to the next number. Compare 8 and 9. No match. Go to the next number. Compare 2 and 9. No match. Compare 15 with 9. No match. The next number is 9. Compare 9 with 9. So it is a match. The match is found at index 4. Let us see the flow chart. Start read array size. The index i is set as 0. If i less than array size, read a of i. Then increment i. This is the loop. Once this loop becomes false, we have read all the elements in the array. Now go to the now part. Read the item to be searched. We take a flag variable found and it is set as 0. If an element is found, this flag is set to 1. Now start from the beginning. i equal to 0, i less than array size. If item equal to a of i, we can set the flag variable found to 1 and then exit from the loop. If it is no, go to the next element, i equal to i plus 1. Then again check whether item equal to a of i. This, If it is not, go to the next element, i equal to i plus 1. This is a loop. This loop continues until the end of the array if the item is not present in the array. So once this condition becomes false, it exits from the loop. So there are two exits from the loop. This is one exit and this is another exit. If the item is present in the loop, we exit through this way and found is set to 1. If the item is not present, it exits from the normal exit of the loop. So in that case, the found will be 0. So now we can check the value of found. If found equal to 1, yes means we have exited through this way and we can say that the item is present in the array. If found is, is not equal to 1, we can say that we exit through the normal exit of the loop and we can say that the item is not present in the array and then stop. Zero code. Start input array of numbers and target value i equal to 0 while i less than array length. If a of i equals to target value, display value found at index i and then we can stop. Otherwise, increment i by 1. This is a loop. Once the loop complete, display value not found and then end. Question number 2. Explain bubble sort with an example. Draw a flowchart and write pseudocode to perform bubble sort on an array of numbers. Bubble sort is a simple sorting algorithm that repeatedly steps through a list, compares adjacent elements and swaps them if they are in the wrong order. The process is repeated for each element in the list until the entire list is sorted. Let us see the example. Assume that array equal to 7, 3, 9, 2 and 5. In pass number 1. Compare 7 and 3. Swap them because 7 is greater than 3. Now the array element is 3, 7, 9, 2 and 5. Now compare 7 and 9. No swap is needed. Compare 9 and 2. Swap them because 9 is greater than 2. Now the array is 3, 7, 2, 9 and 5. Compare 9 and 5. Swap them because 9 is greater than 5. Now the array is 3, 7, 2, 5, 9. After the first pass, the largest element 9 bubbles up to the end of the array. It is in the correct position. Now we go to pass number 2. We again start from the beginning of the array. Compare 3 and 7. No swap needed. Compare 7 and 2. Swap them because 7 is greater than 2. Now the array element is 3, 2, 7, 5, 9. Compare 7 and 5. Swap them because 7 is greater than 5. Now the array element is 3, 2, 5, 7 and 9. In the second pass, the second largest element 7 bubbles up to the second to last position. Now 7 and 9 is in the correct order. Pass number 3. Start from the beginning. Compare 3 and 2. Swap them because 3 is greater than 2. Now the array is 2, 3, 5, 7 and 9. Compare 3 and 5. No swap needed. In the third pass, the third largest element 5 bubbles up to the third to the last position. Now 5, 7 and 9 are in the correct position. Now go to pass 4. 
compare 2 and 3, no swap ne needed. In the fourth pass, the array is already sorted and no swaps are needed. The final sorted array is 2, 3, 5, 7 and 9. Now let us see the flow chart. Start read array size i equal to 0, i less than array size read a of i, i equal to i plus 1. So this is a loop for reading and in the no case, we start with the bubble sort. i equal to 0 set to count the number of passes. Then i less than array size j equal to 0 set as the array index value. If j less than array size minus 1, if a of j greater than a of j plus 1, if it is says temp is equal to a of j, a of j equal to a of j plus 1, a of j plus 1 is equal to temp. Now compare the next elements. So j equal to j plus 1. Again, if j is less than array size minus 1, compare a of j and a of j plus 1. If it is yes, swap the operation. If it is no, just go to the next one. So once this loop is completed, we have reached the end of the array. And in the no case, we go to the next pass, i equal to i plus 1. Again, we check whether i is less than array size. If it is s, start from the beginning of the array, j equal to 0. So this loop continues. And once this loop becomes false, the entire array is sorted. And now we can print the array, i equal to 0, i less than array size. If it is s, print a of i, i equal to i plus 1. So once it becomes false, we have printed all the array and we can go to stop. We will see the zero code, a equal to array of integers. So we are passing the array of integers, n equal to length of a, for i equal to 0 to n minus 2, do. For j equal to 0 to n minus i minus 1, do. Do a of j greater than a of j plus 1. Then we need to perform the swapping operation. Temp equal to a of j. a of j equal to a of j plus 1. a of j plus 1 is equal to temp. This is the end of this if. And now the end inside 4. Now end the outside 4. And this is the end of the procedure. Write a C program to sort a set of numbers using bubble sort. Int main and taken the variable n, i, j and temp. Taken the array, print enter the number of elements. The number of elements is stored in the variable n. Scan of percentage t, ampersand n. Now enter the elements. For i equal to 0, i less than n, i plus plus. Scan of percentage t, ampersand a, r, r of i. This is the end of the loop. Now we go to the bubble sort. For i equal to 0, i less than n minus 1, i plus plus. For j equal to 0, j less than n minus i minus 1, j plus, j plus plus. If a of j greater than a of j plus 1, swap. That is temp equal to arr of j, arr of j equal to arr of j plus 1, arr of j plus 1 is equal to temp. This is the end of the if, end of the for and end of the outside for loop. So this is the bubble sort part and now we can print the array. Print of sorted array for i equal to 0, i less than n, i plus plus. Print of percentage t, arr of i, end of 4, now return 0 and stop. Write a C program to search an element in a set of numbers using linear search. So print of enter number of elements, scan of percentage t, ampersand n, in array, a print of enter elements in the array, i equal to 0, i less than n, i plus plus, scan of percentage t, ampersand arr of i, enter the element to be searched for. Scan of percentage t, ampersand search element. So the item to be searched is stored in the variable search element. We go to the linear search part. For int i equal to 0, i less than n, i plus plus. If arr of i equal to search element, we can say element found at index i. And we set found equal to 1. Then break. Break out from the loop. End of the for loop. If the element is found, then uh, found is set to 1. So if not found, we can say that the element not in the array. Return 0 and close the main function. So these are some of the important questions. Thank you.